Stripe is one of the best payment gateway out there. It's secure, reliable and easy to integrate. Whether you are running an e-commerce site or offering online services, Stripe makes handling payments a breeze. In today's video, we are going to implement Stripe in Django so you can start accepting payments seamlessly in your web application. So let's take an overview of what we are going to make in this video. So we have two products here. So if we click on buy now button, it will redirect you to the Stripe checkout page and uh, here you can see the product price, product name and the description. Stripe provides you test card number to test the payments. When the user successfully creates a payment, the user will be redirected to the success page and also you can see we will get the JSON data in which we will get all information like customer address, email, customer name, etc. And also if you have subscriptions on your website, we are going to create a subscription on Stripe and then we will implement it in our code. To implement Stripe in Django, first we need to install Python package that is Stripe. It is already installed in my system. So now we need to create a view that will handle the payment. So first we are going to import the Stripe. And then we will import some required modules and functions that we are going to use in our code. And first we need to set the API key for the Stripe. To get the Stripe API key, go to the Stripe dashboard. In the developer section, you can see the API keys. And uh, I have already defined Stripe API key in Django settings. And uh, here I have set the domain. So first we need to get the details from the front end. So in the HTML, you can see this is the product card that have the name, description and the price. This product is basically a HTML form. When this form will be submitted, we will get some values in the checkout session. And in the URL.py, I have set the path to call the checkout session view. And then we are getting the logged in user email. When the user will successfully pay the amount, we will verify the user by email. So the checkout session dot create will create a session. And in the parameter, we have passed line items. In the line items, we have a dictionary that have price data and detail about the product and these are the details that we are getting from the front end I have defined a static quantity here I have set the mode to payment so when we are creating checkout session for subscription we will set this mode to subscription we have set the success URL when the checkout session will be completed the user will be redirected to this URL and this is the cancel URL when the user will cancel the payment he will be redirected to this URL and here we are passing the customer email. When the post request will be made on the checkout session, then it will redirect user to the checkout session URL. I have defined success and cancel view, which will render the success HTML and cancel HTML. So here I have set the path for success and cancel. So let's see is the functionality working or not. Just click on the buy now button. It's working great. Okay, so we are successfully redirected to the success page. So now we need to implement the webhook to get the details of the payment. So let's see how we can implement webhook. So if you are working on localhost, then Stripe cannot access your endpoints. For that, you can use Stripe CLI. So if you are on Windows, just check the Stripe documentation and here you will get the guide how to download Stripe CLI. You just need to install the Stripe CLI and add it to your environment variable if you are working on windows and then you can use these commands to get the webhooks in your terminal so just copy this and you just need to run this command in your terminal and then you will get an url to verify your account just click on this url and here you need to allow stripe cli to access account information just allow access and now you need to run the webhook in your local host so make sure to replace the port after running the webhook, you will get the webhook secrets in your terminal. So in the documentation, you will get the code, how you can define your webhook. I will provide you the source code in the description. So here we are using CSRF exempt decorator that will exempt the CSRF protection. The Stripe webhook are external services. So CSRF protection is not applicable here. So I have set the payload equals to request.body. Stripe will send the data in request body. And this will extract the stripe signature from the headers here dot construct event method will validate the webhook event and it will check the stripe signature against your endpoint signet we will check the event type if the event type equals to checkout.session.complete we will print the event or you can update the user in the database but we are just printing here 
that uh, payment was successful and here we have set the URL for the Stripe webhook so now check is the webhook working or not so when the user successfully completed the payment you will get some logs about the webhook here we get the data in JSON where you can get the detail about the user user's name address etc so now if you change the stripe so in the transaction you can see that we have received the payment of 79.99 USD and you can see the product so there is even more important thing that uh, stripe accept payment amount in the smallest unit so you need to calculate the dollar into cents so when you are sending the data you need to convert it into cents and also you can see here amount is in cent so now let's see how to create subscriptions on stripe go to the stripe documentation and here you can see the link to create a subscription you need to set up the products pricing and payment methods for that go to stripe dashboard and here you can see product catalog so here is the button to add a product and uh, if you are creating this product for subscription you need to select recurring and you can set the amount and here you can select the currency and just add the product here and here you can see the test product so if you click on this product you can get the product id in the top right corner that you can use to uniquely identify the product this is the html of a subscription plan so basically it is a form that will submit the data to create checkout session url in which i have hidden input field where i can send the product id and then i can get this id in backend so here i have defined the url for create checkout session and here i have defined the create checkout session view first i will get the product id from the front end and then in the line items i'm sending the product id to identify the product and here i have set the mode to subscription and in the metadata add the product id so when we get the data in webhook we will also get this product id so if you want to save the user with the subscription plan you can identify the plan by this product id so when we click on the subscribe button it will submit the form and here you can see the product name we have set the product name to test let's make an payment with test data so the payment has been completed so if you check the webhook so everything is great here you can see the detail about the subscription plan so here we have the plan id that we have passed in the metadata so that's all for this video if you found this video helpful you can like it and to get more content like this you can subscribe to this channel